Hey folks, for the past couple of days I've been working on this Hotwire starter kit for Laravel and I think I got a really solid foundation over here. So let's start a fresh Laravel application using this starter kit. So what we have to do is we have to run Laravel new and then we give the application name and test and then we have to specify which starter kit we are going to use. In this case, this has to be the packages name. So it's the same one that you would run a composer require, but in our case, it's the same as our GitHub organization. So we just use that and I'm going to specify the fast flag. And what this is going to do is this will set up a fresh Laravel application using Turbo Laravel 2 in CSS Laravel, import maps, stimulus Laravel, and also Daisy UI for the component library. And this setup, even though it actually works, with Vit and all that, and maybe I'll create one, another starter kit for Hotwire and Vite. It doesn't actually depend on Node, so we don't even need Node installed locally to run the application or anything. So let's just wait a little bit for it to scaffold the application. Now it's asking if we want to run an npm install and npm run build. Let's censor no because we don't actually need. Now we can cd into that folder and from here we can run composer run dev that's all so we should be able to go to localhost 8000 and see the application so this is the application i tried to match the styles of the laravel official starter kits but it's using daisy ui so a few things are different let's just sign up over here and yeah so this is the dashboard as you can see we have a navigation over here we have some links that go nowhere like the search it's not actually implemented but we have the source code, the documentation for Turbo Laravel and all that. And we have a Deem switcher over here with all the Daisy UI themes. Not all of them, actually. It's just a handful. Um, so you can just change your theme, the look and, of the application over here, to one that you like. And the entire application will just change accordingly. So if we click, by the way, I clicked on the profile and you see this profile in status menu. So everything actually changes which is pretty good. Like it's not just the accent colors and all that. It's like the rounding in the theme is different than the other ones. Anyways, so I'm gonna choose Dracula because that's a good one. And then if we hit save over here, we can see that it's actually, we have a nice status flash message over here. And this is the application, the, the starter kit for Hotwire. One thing that you may notice is that it's actually already comes ready to be integrated with a Hotwire native application over here. So you would need to set up a fresh Hotwire native application, which you can do on your own. In our case over here, I have created a sample application. It's like there's just a handful of classes, which you can do by copying the Hotwire native starter guide and also the demo application that comes with Hotwire native. But what's important over here is that I'm, I'm using the base URL over here of this is localhost inside the Android emu emulator. So we are going to use this localhost stuff and yeah, the rest is just setting up the application. So let's start the emulator over here and see what we get. So we have the login screen of the application. This is actually the same. It's a web view with a, the way Hotwire Native works, and it's kind of outside of the scope of this video. This is just the introduction to the starter kit. But the way it works is it wraps the web content. So your web application will serve as a mobile application as well. So it's a web first kind of way of building native applications. And what you can do over here, let's log in real quick. So as you can see, we have the dashboard, this title bar is actually fully native. This bottom navigation over here is also fully native. The rest is a shell, a web shell. So we can navigate back and forth between the dashboard and the profile settings. And then from the profile settings, we can edit. And this is also really cool over here. So as you can see, the Hotwire Starter Kit comes with some examples of bridge components. Bridge components is, is a way to integrate the native shell of a Hotwire native application with the web contents. So in this case, we are actually lifting up this web button over here to the native navigation title bar. 
So when we press save, it actually interacts with the web native button and saves the form and submits the form itself. So that's pretty cool. One thing that we can do is go back to our application over here and open the pad. And over here, I'm just going to paste it here because it's easier, but we can say, and by the way, the examples for this are in the native documentation. So you can go to bridge components and there's, this is how you can hide the web elements when a bridge component is available for that element. So in our case, it's the form component and it, this should be the bridge form controller and we want to hide the submit button so let's just do that and then voila we didn't have to do anything because it comes with hot reload enabled so whenever we change stuff the mobile application also gets affected and if you want to test that let's go to the edit profile screen and over here let's just say profile something if I can type, save, go back. The title of the toolbar actually changed. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, so as you can see, we are hiding the form submit button if the component is available over here. So let's do one more thing. Let's enter it. So Joe, Joe Mazzolotti has this set of components over here. Let's just use one of those, like the toast one. So I'm just going to copy the toast component over here and let's go to the native. I'm going to paste, create a class toast component like this. And then that should be enough. Yes. And then we have to go to my app and register the toast component like this. Okay, and once that's registered, we can rebuild the application, but we have to do something in our web application over here. So as you can see, we do have a toast controller. And as soon as we connect this controller, this is a bridge component, not a regular stimulus controller, but it works the same way. So it actually comes already integrated. So what, once this element with this controller connects to the DOM, it's going to send a message to the native application saying which event it should call. So in this case, it's going to call the show event and we're going to pass some params to it, which is the message attribute in the bridge element. So if we go to our notice partial over here, you can see that we are actually using the bridge toast and we are setting the, the bridge element message attribute. And yeah, so that's all we need to do over here. One thing we also need to hide the notice over here. So I'm just going to change this to toast and then toast like this. So what we're doing is we are converting the web view notification flash message to a fully native toast message. So let's go ahead and try it. We don't actually have to do anything more than that. So let's just save and see the notification was converted to a toast message. So this is how you can augment your web functionality with native functionality. There is a set of components in here from Joe. He also, this, these are most of these components are free, but it's actually a paid thing. So some components like the barcode scanner, which you can do this, it's actually paid and the document scanner, same thing, but location notification, all that is paid, but everything else is free to use. You just copy and paste into your application and you're good to go. So yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to show y'all. And this is a starter kit. It comes with a set of themes. It comes integrated with Hotwire native. So you can just start using that and making your awesome live applications using Hotwire. So yeah, let me know what you think and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.